I have numerous teachers and coaches at every level that's been a key part of my, my growth. Whether it was a, a teacher getting on me for, for joking in class and asking me what I want to be and you know, you having those conversations and well, you have to do it this way. Or a coach, you know, in practice, when you don't want to practice, he's getting on you and teaching you as you go. So I've been very fortunate uh, for my journey, of just having a great support staff. And I can't talk about my parents and my grandparents and my aunts and uncles. So everywhere I went, whether it was at home, he was getting that same, you know, that style of discipline when I went to school. So it's been awesome. Gosh, I've been knowing Trebell Warden probably since he was about five or six years old. He, I live in Fountain Inn, he lived in Fountain Inn too, and I really met him. And when he came out for Little League football in Fountain Inn, when he was about seven years old. One of the things we talked about when he was a kid, uh, having great character when you're away from your parents or your coaches. So he always, uh, he always did that. One of the things that I admire most about Travell is his consistency. And I think consistency is a characteristic that is few and far between with some people. And with Travell, you always know what you're going to get. Just a little bit about Fountain Inn. The mayor was my baseball coach. The, the fire chief was my football coach. And uh, the chief of police was the umpire and refereed the game. So you knew everybody, whether well, it's a police officer being an assistant coach. So you kind of knew everybody in town. I think the most memorable moment with Travell is when he got his scholarship to the University of South Carolina because uh, he knew I was a Clemson fan and he was going to South Carolina and he, he was just all smiles and he, he really, that was a great moment in his life. The first proudest moment is uh, signing day in 1999 to the University of South Carolina. Um, having my parents there, uh, friends, siblings, and you know, just being able to accomplish that goal. And the second was hearing my name called and being drafted, having my family there again um, five years later. So having those moments really started something that, you know, goals. It was goals uh, that I set for myself. For me, it was just the journey. You know, you're looking back and saying, man, the journey, it was, it, it came true because of, you know, the people around me. They would push me. So for me, I always wanted to be in the NFL but didn't know how I was going to get there, but I had coaches and teachers and, you know, my parents especially, they pushed me and, you know, it's, it's really a dream come true. You know, everything else kind of fell in place. His sense of humor is underrated and it's a little bit sneaky, but he's got these one-liners that can just set you up for, you know, a complete shutdown uh, in laughter. And a memory that comes to mind for Travell and I is, uh, it was 2009 season. And I was playing left tackle and Travell was playing left guard. And, and everybody knows that left tackle is much more challenging than left guard, right? And Travell and might uh, argue that fact once in a while, but we, I can prove it by this story. So we were playing the Atlanta Falcons. It was a running play. I was blocking the defensive end and I got the pile rolled up on my right leg and I ended up breaking my tibia and fibia both in half. So my leg was dangling from about mid calf down, complete break. And I was sitting on the, on the field, kind of riding in pain, trying not to scream too loud so my buddies wouldn't make fun of me, but I knew my season was over. And my good friend Travell Wharton was teared up as he stood over me. And I thought, man, this guy, you know, he's such an outstanding individual and he's caring, so, cares so much about me. Well, Travell was actually the backup left tackle. So if anything happened to me, Travell had to move from his comfortable position to left guard to left tackle. So as I'm sitting there in pain saying, oh, uh, Travell, thank you, man. I, it's okay, I'm gonna be fine. He says, man, I don't care about you. I care, I'm just man. I gotta play left tackle. <laughs> I think coming back, being a part of the community um, has been a, a true blessing um, for me. Coming back home, um, for eight years, I did a free youth football camp at the park, at Woodside Park and Fountain Inn for about four years and at Hillcrest High for about four years. We had about five, 600 kids show up and I'll have some of my Carolina Panthers teammates and friends across the NFL. And uh, just letting them see some of those guys that they're just like you. You know, we like to put athletes up on a pedestal, but those guys started off in the same spot and um, they'd come out and talk to them. I had my college teammates 
from the University of South Carolina. Um, so I just brought a bunch of guys in town to really to coach drills and be a part of my community.